thanks for watching Down the Road We Go. Well, we're back in Yellowstone for a second day. We're going to check out Old Faithful and the Old Faithful Inn and see what else we can get into. So come along for the ride as Down the Road We Go. All right, we're off today back to Yellowstone. Going to Old Faithful Geyser and the Old Faithful Inn. Check that out. Check out a bunch of other geysers. We're just going to have a good old time as down the road, road we go. go. Every one of them were late. <laughs> oh, oh, we like to get him. Gosh. He ain't going to like Because he's in there. Look at it. See this? You're not supposed to push him like that. Uh -huh. Go ahead and put him on. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Raise that tail and just swing it out there. Push and turn around. Look how close he is to him. Yeah. Look at the hump on that. Okay, we're, it's supposed to erupt here in the next couple minutes. This is Old Faithful, so we're in standby mode. Okay, here it goes, getting ready to blow its top. This is Old Faithful geyser in Yellowstone. There it goes. Okay, here we are at uh, Old Faithful just erupted. Calm down now, so it'll be another 90 minutes. So we're off to do other stuff. Look at the Grand Lodge. And down the sidewalk we go. Okay, this is the Grand Lodge that we're heading to now. We'll check it out inside. This place is amazing, so wait till you see the video from in there. Isn't this building new here, Shirley? It wasn't here last time we were here. So guess where Shirley is? Yeah, we're in the new visitor center. It's pretty nice here at Yellowstone. And straight to the store. Getting her shopping on for the day. The rest of the day we'll be looking at geysers and stuff. This is a pretty nice place. Uh, it wasn't here 10 years ago when we were here, so. This is well worth visiting before you go out and look at everything because it tells you all about the geysers and, and the history of the Yellowstone Valley. So here you can walk you through the eruption process. Okay, it's 8 o'clock in the morning and this, the park is already starting to get packed. It's a good thing we came early. Whoa. Look at this. All local logs, when they built it, it was all built from local logs. This is the fire, main fireplace and the clock that's on it. It's amazing. Of course the time's wrong, but it'll be right sometime today. Let me tell you, if you've never been to Yellowstone, you've got to put it on your bucket list. Just coming here just to see the grandeur of the Grand uh, 
hotel with all the woodwork, all the logs and everything the building was made out of were local, built, I don't know, <laughs> 1900 and something. Uh, firefighters have protected this for years. In the, in the, I think it was a 1983 fire, they circled the whole village and held off the fire to save everything down here and it was well worth the man hours and time and money just to do it because this place is amazing. I mean, just look around a little bit. Just the woodworking is just, just, it's just fantastic. So you've got to get here, if at all possible. But if not, we'll show you around as much as you, we can today. So at least you can come along for the ride. Okay, we're gonna go walk the stairs. Walking up the stairs. Yellowstone Hotel Lodge whatever you want to call it Can't go up any farther, can you? Curve's nest. Seven, uh, 1959, measuring 7.5 on the Richter scale, it twisted some of the support timber. Uh, unsafe for the number of guests which currently visit. Hmm. Okay, we're taking a stop here at Biscuit Basin. Somebody was wondering if they were going to have biscuits and gravy. I said, well, you'd be the gravy if you step in the wrong spot. So, here we go. Okay, again, this is uh, Biscuit Basin. Some of the pools, the hot pools. You can see them bubbling over there a little bit in all the different colors. Pretty cool. Well, we caught that right in time. Just turn the camera on. Cool. 
bubble, bubble, toil and treble. Oh, and also here's evidence that buffalo do 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 in the woods and out among the geysers. I didn't think they'd come out here, but right there. That was pretty slick. What's your favorite geyser so far? Yeah, me Alyssa. too, the blue one. Toil and trouble. I mean, Dave's standing there and that decided to have an eruption. Yeah, well, luckily it didn't erupt on us. Right. Everybody like basin or biscuit basin? Yes, everybody yeah. really likes biscuit. Cool. Well, there's no biscuits and gravy served up though. But. Well, the, the new spot they're going to put over there is called the gravy basin. You're going to have butter way across the center. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I can't get over the bison being in there. Yeah. I took a good video of that. I said, here's proof pudding that bison do 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 in the biscuit basin. They do their day. They do do do. Midway Geyser. All right, yeah, we're stopping at Midway Geyser now. Look at the people parked up here. I'm wondering if there's no place to park down there. Uh, I'm going to that. It looks like it was kind of where well, that's what that red thing hanging on there means or what? No, I didn't see that. It's hanging on the end of it. Yep, it's packed. Yeah, I don't think you're gonna get in here. We got, apparently, we gotta get up super, super early to see this, but because it's only there. what 10:30. Yeah, yeah, it's late. Of course, the bus comes, takes up five yeah, spaces. Yeah, they made the corners that look must have got to get out. Get on. Move the bus. Move it. Yeah. They're, oh yeah, they're parked all the way down the road down there. As far as you can see around that corner. And this is Yellowstone trying to see something after 10 o'clock in the morning. When it gets later on in the summer, don't bother. They're talking about you might, in, in later June and July, you may have to make reservations just to come into the park. What's bad is, everybody's coming in this way, and these buses stuff want to go out that way. How's that going to work? I don't know where Alan is, if he's parked, found a place to park or what? Well, it looks like we were a little late uh, getting going this morning, so we kind of paid the price and not being able to see everything we wanted to see, but that's okay. 
We're going to head back to the campground and rest up, get up early in the morning, and start again. So come along for the ride as down the road we go. Thanks for watching this episode of Down the Road We Go. On our next episode, we'll be coming back to Yellowstone for the third day and check out uh, some other spots we couldn't get into the day before. So come along for the ride as down the road we go.